Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Hot Projects where we take a look at some of the biggest games of the year in 2022 and what we're looking forward to in 2023. Happy New Year to everybody. We go into 2023, which I think is going to be the year of the next generation of NFT games where we're seeing higher quality projects coming out that may actually not have announced their games yet. I think we'll have some big titles that may be like four or five years down the line. But I definitely think we're going to see a lot of betas move into full launch, open launch of games. Some games will die out because I don't think they have the quality. The market is saturated with auto battlers, I think. And so we're looking for games that are more on the level with where console gaming is. Mobile gaming is something that I think NFT games are, you know, engaging with really, really well, creating projects that are are actually up to date where mobile games are but we just haven't seen that triple a quality game come out of the works yet so say today we're going to take a look at a couple of projects that have been big in 2022 and i think are going to do big things in 2023 um we're also going to take a look at some some new updates on some projects as well so let's get into today's episode okay we begin with Let's kick things off with a, a, a big favorite of mine, Undead Blocks, and definitely recommend going and checking this out because the multiplayer beta is officially live. So you can now play Undead Blocks with in co-op with, with one of your friends. And this is the, the first kind of introduction of social gameplay in Undead Blocks, which I think is going to be the biggest feature of it because Call of Duty Zombies is multiplayer. You can do solo gaming on it, and it's quite good how it kind of, you know, grades the... If you've got four, a team of four, it gets more difficult. Um, but with, 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 with social gameplay, I just think you can take down enemies together and take down rounds and work together to get a, you know, a higher score. And it's going to be made more make it a really added extra competitive element because a team of two people who are communicating are going to be you know have more benefit over if you're playing with somebody and you can only just communicate by text um, and may not actually be able to communicate fast enough to be able to play this game well. So it'll be exciting to see what this project is going to bring. They have delivered on everything they've promised so far and more. New enemies, we've got new you know item perks that you can pick up. So yeah, I think this is definitely one to keep your eye on in 2023. I think 2023 is going to be all about first person shooters coming into the NF gaming space. I think they work really, really well. I think your NFT assets are simple in terms of you, you know, obviously you got your characters and your weapons as well. And some games I think are overcomplicated with too many NFTs. You need it to be simplified, you know, having access to something that you can equip very easily to your uh, your character and be able to use in game not something that you have to like go through loads of transactions it has to be all on off chain i think for it to function really well and make the purchases off chain one of the projects that stands out for me is project quantum this game looks really really good in terms of some of what we've seen from the alpha footage this was released in october 2022 so i think pre-alpha so we're probably going to see this coming into alpha open and beta but it just looks a lot further along than some of the other first person shooters out there. It has a very really kind of Halo vibe to it. There's a couple of other um, first, person, th first person shooters that I think will do well in the NFT gaming space. They're really aiming for a triple A gaming quality. There's a couple of first person or third person shooters out there in the NFT gaming space coming. We have Decimated, which I think is a project that's gonna do well. There was a question put to them in an AMA that they did, and that was Will Game, the game listed on the Epic Game Store, and they had an Epic Mega Grant, so, and they're in communication with Epic Games, so I reckon it will be listed on Epic Games over Steam. Steam will probably be one that won't feature it because they don't really feature anything with blockchain technology. Uh, so this is the post-apocalyptic cyberpunk survival MMO RPG based in a persistent online world built in the Unreal Engine 5. A lot of work has gone into this project over a lot of years. You know, you can see the Twitter profile joined November 2010. And I'm excited for what they bring. And hopefully we'll start to see something in um, materialize in 2023. One of the biggest NFT games ever to be released was Axie Infinity. When it was released, it was new. The play to earn feature was functioning really well within it. And then we saw auto battlers, similar kind of Pokemon style games where you're battling people with pets. 
we saw them start to, you know, re the, the, the people playing them became less interested in them. And Axie Infinity did need to um, evolve. It need to, needed to grow. And they did that. And they've been working on Axie Land. So the Axie build of Axie Infinity Homeland is now live for people to be able to download and play. And from the looks of it, quality wise, it looks really, really good. I think the details on it really crisp. I love the the design, the artwork on it is a really, really high standard, but I don't think it's going to be a really exciting game. We've got gathering in it, passive adventure, crafting. You can see a game overview from there um, from this medium article. They have uh, an Axie Infinity Homeland tutorial here uh, done by um, Axie Faction. So you can go check that out. He just kind of goes into detail about the whole project and what you can expect from it. Uh, if you want to get the 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 the, the, the opinion of the, the CEO of um, Axie, that's that's Kagi I'm talking about. <laughs> um, he he is, is he answers some questions about it. You know, actually, um, does he think it's worth picking up? And I think he says that it's it's not really worth putting. Should you buy land? Don't think it's worth the money, but maybe later on when earnings are introduced, it might be. Uh, asking the question really of people so definitely recommend go checking his channel out because obviously he covers it a lot more than i do I, i'm not actually involved in axie infinity so definitely want to check out this year whether they'll evolve further beyond that in 2023 and uh, whether they're already working on other stuff was is, is soon to be seen but i think they are they need to evolve a little bit quicker and create some more exciting gameplay but maybe they'll build on that with their land feature one game i'll be definitely keeping a close eye on is champions ascension just because it comes from such a huge mobile game developer it comes from jam city that have worked on games like Hag harry potter hogwarts mystery they acquired ludia studios which is the, the project between jurassic world alive and so big IPs, and they are moving, they're going to bold step into the NFT gaming space. They have already sold some of their NFT collection. Now 10,000, 7,622 were sold. And that was during when we were kind of just early on going into the bear market. So they did well to sell that many. And But it's just the, 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 the pace at which they're moving. I know this is a project that will deliver on everything that they say that they are doing. Because... Um, I've, as I said, I've, I've worked with them uh, on Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, covering that on my channel for, for like five, four years. And what they've built so far is this really, really great social gameplay aspect where they've got this world that you can join and you can communicate with other people. Is that Snoop Dogg? <laughs> they've got some collaborations going on. And yeah, what they've built so far looks really, really fun. And the battling is is definitely more advanced it's not auto battling it is skill based there is you know picking things to counter people movements parries everything that you need in this type of game to add a skill to earn element to it so this is definitely one to watch and as you can see from from this video they've already made some really good steps in building something that is functional you can play this now i think it i think it's available for everybody uh, but I've, I've been able to play it. I definitely had access to it and um, had a bit of play in the battling. It takes some work, you know, obviously being skilled to earn, but it's really intuitive. It's not too difficult to pick up. And yeah, I'm excited for, for what this has to bring in 2023 for sure. In 2023, I want to see a lot more variety in the games that we play. And one of those things that is adding to that variety is the Bornless. This is a free-to-play first-person shooter horror game made in Unreal Engine with beta access coming soon. I've had access to be able to play this. I've played it on um, CryptoStash's channel um, where we played as, as a team of eight with some of the developers. And it was really, really fun. It has a great skill aspect to it. It has a lot of strategy involved in it in terms of working with the um, the thing that is chasing you. Uh, and the one that I played, it was like a werewolf. And yeah, really good quality. So this is definitely something that I think is worth keeping an eye on in 2023. I think they're gonna do big things. I think they're gonna move towards open access for everybody. And we're gonna start to see um, this having more, you know, NFTs available, things they can, once they've got the game down, which 
to be fair, after, from playing it, there weren't too many bugs. There was a few things that needed tweaking, a few minor things. Um, but I think once they've got those things down, this is going to be a really well-rounded game. So definitely one to keep your eye on the Bournemouth. Go check that out. All of the links, by the way, today's episode, I'll put every Twitter link to every project that I mentioned in the description down below. Then we have a few other projects trying to add to that variety. One of those is Aperon. This is a God game esports with ownerships of NFT assets. And they have currently got the battle demo. Um, available to collect soul and lunar fragments to access the battle of demo coming up and uh, from from the looks of their their um, trailers and things that they've released the battle aspect looks really really fun it's more interactive you've got real-time strategy to it in terms of placing certain cards which is kind of more up to date with where mobile games are at with games like clash royale uh, i've been playing castle crush uh, which is also an NFT game and they're just a lot more strategic and there's a lot more skill involved in them So Aperon is not just building the the battle feature though. They have a whole game around that uh, It's gonna be a massive metaverse. I think with um, A godlike game to it as well. So if you've ever played the likes of black and white that's what they're looking to build. I'm really excited for what they're going to build in 2023. They've already made really, really good progress with the project, I think. Releasing trailers, things like this, just shows their design ability um, because it looks crisp. And if you look at the game, the battle gameplay does look really, really beautiful. You can see here, the battle gameplay looks really, really nice. You've got this open board. It's not auto battling because you have to use cards strategically at the right time. Some have area of effect, some have you know single target damage, some have boosts that you can give to your team. I think this is going to be a really, really strong project in 2023. And you know, beyond that, I think this has created a, a game where there's going to be a lot more around this project than this game. The metaverse they're building is huge. And yeah, really excited for what they'll bring in 2023. And then there's four projects that I think are worth keeping your eye on as well in 2022 because of the quality of what they've got and what they're, you know, what they've got to build on. So we have Cornucopius, the island awaits. This game, from the looks of it, I, I think we're a bit further off on the game actually being complete than some of the other projects we just looked at. But I'm really impressed with the artwork and you know so here's a few leaks uh the late images showcasing some of the final touching touches on solace and it looks crisp it looks really really high quality the trees look absolutely stunning and this is a work in progress but i think they're trying to build a a a really a world that has a lot of mini games within it and different themes to some of the areas. I think this could do well in that it does maybe offer people something a little different. The token is out, they've sold some NFTs, they've given away airdrops of NFTs. When one of their sales went went wrong, they gave everybody out who tried for free um, the NFT. So I think they're a really good uh, team in terms of supporting the community and doing what's right. So. This is why I, this is one that I've I've got my eye on, but it's really the quality that stands out, and I'm excited for for when they have something to really show off. Um, so hopefully we'll get to feature them in 2023 in hot projects where we can actually show some gameplay off. Another project that I really think could do really well in the NFT game space in 2023 and beyond is Cedars because their metaverse is huge. They are looking to build multiple games. They've already delivered on two titles. We got a look at Zena, the mobile game, and it offered something different, a little extra real-time strategy game. And it has a, a kind of strong element of skill to it, as well as having the battle royale fun to it, that you're not always gonna win every match because it could be that um, the other people attack you. And you know, if, if you everybody attacks one each, person you've got a chance of like you just need to beat that one person but in a battle royale you can get hit from both sides and it can just stop you from winning really really quick so i think this is a project that's going to do well based on what they have already delivered and what they're saying they're going to build is which is you know 10 plus 
gaming titles by 2020 into 2024. Then we have Big Time, and I pick Big Time because I think that it has a really good uh, foundation to build upon. So it's a multiplayer action RPG that makes di digital collectibles accessible to everyone. Um, I think it functions really well on the blockchain. The, the social aspect to this is really, really strong. The fact that you can team up with people and take down bosses, very much kind of having a, a Destiny vibe to it, to it for me. Um, the integration of land assets is where i think it's gonna be really really interesting and see what it does so they have this space which is called is it the space which is called space and 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 this is where you can you know travel to different locations is where you can work on some of your use some of your materials and build items we have an armory so it'll be exciting when they bring out the full final polished project and, and I think that will happen in 2023 because of that foundation that they already have. And then finally, I picked Aurori. Not because um, it's an auto battler, because obviously saturated market with auto battlers, this kind of Pokemon style, finding things in this world are called Nefties and leveling them up and attacking other people with them getting into battles. I think that is, there's, there's not a huge market for that at the moment. But I picked Aurori because I just love the design of the game. Like, if you can create the world around the battles and make that exciting and engaging, then, you know, it works for Pokemon. And they, you know, Pokemon changes new Pokemon and they add extra features into it to make it different. And it works. So I think there will be a market for it if they make the RPG element around it really unique and, and, and vast. Um, but I do like the in terms of that there is obviously movement tiles. It's not just a static um, sitting in place. So that does add an extra element of skill to it. So we'll see if the games like this do well can survive in 2023. That will be interesting to see. So that is my rundown of games in 2022 that have made good progress and I think are ones to look out for in 2023. Let me know down below if you think there are any other NFT games that are definitely on your radar for 2023. To say Happy New Year and thank you for um, such a great year. A really, really a huge opportunity for me to be able to work full time and cover these NFT gaming projects. So I really appreciate it. I'm going to give away two lots of 50 US dollars to anybody who goes down into the comments section and posts your uh, put suppose any comment with a watch code goes into our Discord, post in the competition wallet section your YouTube name, your wallet address, and a random comment will be selected at the end of the week and announced in a post. Okay, that's all for this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon.